today. Families who have lost loved ones have another pressing concern, and that is the cost that goes with laying their loved one to rest. It's a burden a local nonprofit is making sure they don't have to take on. It's a group of people that come together that make a big difference. There's On Saturday morning, El Paso nonprofit Operation Hope was gathering for its yearly back to school event. They come out and make a difference. Helping kids start the new school year with brand new backpacks and school supplies. About five miles away, carnage and chaos ensued. Everybody was in shock, everybody was numb, including myself. For 22 years, Operation Hope's co-founder, Angel Gomez, has worked to help people in need, helping Santa deliver Christmas toys to good girls and boys, making sure kids have baskets to open on Easter. But he's never had to respond to a tragedy of this magnitude. And as soon as I put the call out to the guys over at the funeral home, the funeral directors, they were on board within, within minutes. The response, immediate. Funeral directors will be taking care of funeral costs so families don't have to be burdened with yet another concern. We are sending bodies, we will be sending bodies, I should say, to Torreon, to Chihuahua, to Juarez. We're sending other bodies that were here from out of town that we're going to be transporting them. And all this is done at no cost to the relatives. The resilient and giving spirit of El Paso shining through the Sun City's darkest time. And El Paso is it's a big city, but yet we're all, it's a small city at the same time. We all stick together. And just to give you an idea of the cost involved, it would cost anywhere from $2,500 to $4,000 simply to transport the bodies of the victims to Mexico, where some will be laid to rest. That price tag, of course, does not include the funeral costs, which will be donated. Angel Gomez says now they're talking to cemeteries in the community to find final resting places for nearly two dozen lives lost too soon. Yeah.